My name is Maya Traquer, and I'm a medical application engineer at Materialize, located in our U.S. office in Michigan. In this video, I will show you how easy a full heart segmentation can be done in one click, then make some edits as needed, and finally, segment the rest of the cardiac cycle automatically based on your edited segmentation in, again, one click. It's important to always find better and faster ways to speed up your workflow, especially in a cl clinical setting where the number of segmentations needed of the heart might be high in volume and require accuracy. Using the CT Heart Tool in Mimics will hopefully help you to increase your productivity, leaving you more time for analysis, design, 3D printing, or whatever you typically do in your workflow after segmentation. Let's go ahead and work with this example here, where we have the blood pool of all the chambers of the heart segmented and edited. You can see as I scroll through these images that this patient has calcium along their mitral annulus. Let me also show under the image tab how this project consists of phase data or multiple CT stacks of images taken at different times of the heart's beating cycle. We will later segment all these sets of images with one click. Heading back to the mask tab, I'll hide all these masks and start fresh. And our first step is to head to that advanced segment tab where you'll see this CT heart tool I keep talking about. You can see this tool offers an automatic method as well as a manual method. And it gives you the choice to segment the left heart or the full heart. Let's go ahead and segment the full heart using the automatic method. The manual method is really more like the semi-automatic method where you select seed points in the scan for each part of the heart and the tool will segment the heart automatically based on that and based on the contours or the gradient changes in the images. I would recommend to always try the automatic route first, and then if this doesn't give you the result you're looking for, then you can use the semi-automatic method. I've seen this tool work on scans with scatter or artifacts, or like in this scan, calcium, but it's best if the scan at least has contrast in the heart. And as a result, you can see we'll have all the chambers of the heart segmented and labeled automatically for us. I'll select them all under the masks tab and show you what's been created. Now you can see we have some messy branches and other items that we maybe don't want in our model. So let's edit these masks using the edit mask tool under the segment tab. Basically what I'm doing here is cutting off some of these unwanted or incorrect aspects of the mask. And it looks like I have some calcium segmented here as well. So I can hold down shift, click on that location in 3D, and then check it over the 2D images. And indeed it is calcium, so I'll go ahead and remove it. Keep in mind, the goal here is to edit your masks the way you'd like. That way, when we go to segment the rest of the scans, we won't have to repeat these edits. And for now, I'll just edit the chambers of the left heart, so the aorta, left ventricle, and left atrium. Once I'm all set with my edits, I'll go ahead and do a quick region grow from the segment tab, which will get rid of all of those floating parts uh, that I left behind. You can see since the CT heart tool already labeled these so nicely for me, I'm going to make sure my target is the same mask as the source mask and have my keep original mask option unchecked. That way it will remove those unconnected pieces once I click on the model. And here's our final look. Now we're ready to propagate these edits to the rest of the cardiac cycle. So let's head back over to the advanced segment tab 
where we'll use the 4D CT heart tool this time. It's asking us to identify the masks it should use as reference to segment the rest of the scans. So we'll have the entire blood pool as our threshold mask, the LA for LA, LV for LV, and AO for aorta, and hit apply. Although the tool looks like it only works for the left heart, it actually can be used for the right heart as well, as long as there's enough contrast in your scan. So instead, you can have the RA for the LA position, RV for LV, and PA or pulmonary artery for the aorta position, keeping the full blood pool as the threshold mask. As the tool goes from scan to scan, segmenting these heart chambers, you will find their masks populate here on the right, as well as an indication of which scan the mask is associated with. Once this is done being hard at work, I'll show you what the masks look like for a random phase. Again, this is only doing the left heart, but you can always have another step where you do the exact same thing for the right heart if you'd like. Now that the tool has done its job, I'll head over to the images tab and let's choose any one of these CT stacks. So let's use 50%. So I'll drag that stack over the viewports and this is where we can now scroll through to do that quick quality check for that phase. I'll now head back over to the mask tab. Find the masks associated with the phase 50%, highlight them, and now we can see it in the 3D view. Please let us know if you have any questions about the CT Heart tools. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope these tools will help you in optimizing your workflow when it comes to heart and phase segmentation. Thank you.